63 million euros. That's a lot of damn money. Let me repeat myself. 63 million euros for a 26-year-old striker that goes by the name of Cavani. What the hell is football becoming? That is ridiculous. Before we jump into this commentary, let me quickly say if you want cheaper lava coins, make sure to check out the description down below for UT Coin Traders. With that being said, I'm going to open some packs while I talk about this Cavani trade. Or transfer, not trade. Now I was on Twitter talking about it, and then eventually I just said, hey, do you guys want me to make a video about it? And everybody was like, yep. A lot of people were frustrated with the move. A lot of people said Cavani just did it for the money. There was nothing else involved. Cavani just wanted loads and loads of money. Personally, I'm going to say it like this. Did Cavani move for the money? Yeah, I think he did. But most footballers do stuff just for money. Do I think Cavani's a good player? Yeah, I think Cavani's a good player. Do I think Cavani's worth 63 million? Hell nah, man. Listen, 63 million. PSG could have built two teams. Not one, two teams. Matter of fact, three teams. They could have built like three different teams. I'm telling you, man, it's a lot of money. But in this day and age, football, the way football players go for so much money, maybe it's not a lot. What would I have done if I was PSG? If I was PSG's owner and I was sleeping on top of my, my bed that's made out of uh, euros and pounds and, and dollar bills, and I went to go take a poo-poo and I sat on top of my gold to toilet and then wiped my booty with, with the euros, then um, if I was that guy, uh... I would have bought Gomez. Yeah, I said that right. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I would have bought Gomez. Why would I have? Why? Why Gomez? Why would I have gotten Gomez? Cavani's 26. Gomez is 28. Cavani goes for 63 million. Gomez is not even close for that much. So you could have picked up a solid big striker for less money, a lot of less money. And two years older, you probably get the same out of him. I see Cavani playing four years at PSG and then moving on. Even maybe he won't even make the four years. I see him staying there just for a while and then bouncing. And they would have got four years out of Gomez at the age of 28. And I think he would have been just, would have probably scored just as many goals in that league. Do I like the French league? Yeah, I think the French league's a good league. Does PSG need Ibrahim Cavani up front to play in the French League? No, man. You don't need that many strikers to play in the French League. But, you know, when you got that much money, you won't, you get what you want, not what you need. Now, there was a lot of interest from teams in the BPL. There was a lot of teams from... Team, uh, there was interest from teams from Spain. He, he pretty much could have picked and went anywhere. All right, this guy had, had options to move anywhere he pretty much wanted to. He picked PSG because of a lot of money being thrown at him. What I think to myself is, do you think the newspapers lie sometimes? Do you think that teams from England were never interested in him? Do you think teams from Spain were never interested in him? Why am I getting so many players from England? I might as well just do an England silver team. Do you think it was all BS of the teams that were interested in him and PSG just threw that much money at him and they was like, oh, well, only place I have to go. And he put his name to the contract. Now, I don't think that happened, but it's a possibility. So maybe he wasn't a money whore. Maybe that was his only option. And I don't think that's the case. I think he took money over everything else. And personally, you guys know how I am. I would have went to a team like Man City, Man U, Chelsea, Spain, Barca, Real. I would have went somewhere like that. All right. Me personally, but he had other other options and he decided to go with that one. Now, I personally think Ebra's leaving. I don't think Cavani and Ebra are staying on the same team. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think Ebra will move, and me personally, I could be a hundred percent wrong, but I think he moves to Real Madrid. It's just what I think. It might not happen. It's just what I think. I think he fits Real Madrid. I think he'll play at Real Madrid, and uh 
him and Ronaldo will bump heads at Real Madrid. <laughs> That's kind of how I see it. Is it going to happen? I don't know, but that's what I think. I don't think PSG will keep two strikers like that. If they do, then holy moly, I don't even know how they're going to connect with each other. Do you guys think Ibra, if he stays, because that's the way it is right now, Ibra and Cavani side by side, will they be good together? Will they bump heads? Are they too greedy? Will they be able to support each other? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're down in the comments down below, let me know if you think Cavani went for too much, if he went for just right. Or, or or what you think or if he should have went for more i want to know exactly what you think if he would have moved to the bpl for 63 million i still would have said too much money just my opinion let me know what you guys think do you think that cavani at uh cavani at um moving to let's say he moved to man city if he would have moved to man city for 63 million would it still have been too much Would people have still been salty about it because a lot of people were upset right when i tweeted it out i got messages from a lot of people saying they were sad and disappointed even youtubers were hitting me up just like oh, i'm sad and a lot of people wanted to see him move to england or spain and he moved to france i'm not really sure why the french league is frowned upon more than every other league but i personally for me the French league doesn't show on TV as much as the Spanish league and the, and the Italian league and then and, and the English league, especially the English league. Um, so for me, it's it's like I really wanted him to move to one of those teams so I could watch him play all the time. But the way he played in that that cup that just passed, what was it called? The the cup where Brazil and Italy and all those teams played, and I forget the name of it, man. Um, but the cup that just passed that Brazil won. I saw him play, and he didn't play that well. And I'm thinking to myself, how the hell is this guy worth 63 million? But, you know, that's just me. Personally, when, when you're talking 63 million, I would have went to try to snatch up players like El Shirawe. And not saying El Shirawe is worth 63 million, but I would have snatched him up with that money, then got this player, then got that player. You could have bought a lot of good players for 63 million euros, and I think you would have built a really, really solid team instead of just getting one player for 63 million euros that's just my opinion on it if i was if benfica made a move like that i would be like damn come on guys you could have bought like four players for that money and got and then made money off for those players you know that's that's how i see it i could be 100 percent crazy one thing i can tell you guys is the way football prices are right now is absolutely 100 percent ridiculous ridiculous players are moving around for 60 63 million euros it's incredible. Players have left Benfica for over 20 million, over 30 million. The football market right now is insane. In three, four years from now, if these prices keep going up, we're gonna see players moving around. Decent players, average players, will be costing like 20 million, and great players will be costing 80, 90, 100 million if the prices keep going up like this. Do you think prices will keep going up? or for, start going down. You gotta let me know what you think in the comments down below. Personally, I think if it keeps going this way, a lot of teams are gonna go bankrupt. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion on the whole thing. I think the Cavani deal was just absolutely 100% crazy. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I hope you guys enjoy this. And if any other transfer news comes out that makes me say, what the hell, then I'm gonna make a video on it. So with that, thanks so much for watching. To the top right, some more FIFA. To the bottom right, some Minecraft. Hit that yellow button and subscribe. I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and I hope you enjoyed, baby. That's a booyah. I'll see you next time.